The school generally is extremely well run. There's just an enormous amount of activity uh, already in process every day. What I think that we can uh, look forward to in the coming five years is to consolidate that activity, but also organise more in ways that bring industry closer to our activities. I think we have a lot of industry outreach and industry interaction happening, but we're not necessarily leveraging it as well as we could to ensure that a maximum possible number of students are exposed to those activities and to make sure that our faculty are staying as informed as they can be about real world problems. The two newest efforts that we're trying to build up here at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences are Biomedical Engineering and Material Science and Engineering. Each of them is interesting in the fact that they are both being nurtured in the space between the traditional schools. As we move forward and there's more focus on interdisciplinary activity, it's going to become more important to provide spaces to allow for ad hoc and casual interactions between groups from different departments and different disciplines. In order to achieve that, we will have to invest in the built environment for the university, school, for the buildings, and for the landscape uh, outside the building. Here at UB, I was delighted to find out about the Delta Society when I arrived. The Delta Society, for anybody who doesn't know, is a group of people who have given $1,000 or more to the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences in a given year. This group of people forms a real backbone of our fundraising activities. One of my core priorities is going to be building a development fund which specifically targets graduate education programs. I think it's important for the US as a nation to do more to encourage students to stay in higher education uh, to achieve masters and PhD degrees so that we can compete better on a global scale.